how do you see this? I mean, is this a white flag on Apple's part or is it just smart? Well, I, no, I mean, it's probably a little bit of both. I mean, Apple needed to do something. These, when they came out with the maps in September, a lot of criticism was out there. And, and frankly, in the... Well, it was very flawed products. Yeah, yeah, and Tim Cook himself, the CEO of Apple, apologized for it. And in that apology, he actually pointed toward Google as an alternative uh, using sort of a, a basic web version. And also the guy who was in charge got fired. So, yeah. I mean, Apple did take <laughs> steps to address it. Definitely, definitely. And, and essentially now you have finally the wait is over, I guess you could say. I mean, a lot of consumers, a lot of folks been wanting this, this app. I even just downloaded it. Looks pretty slick. And, um, and, now, and now they don't have to wait anymore. So just how embarrassing is this for Apple? I mean, you said it yourself, Brian. I mean, it's a little bit of both. It's a little bit white flag, and it's a little bit saying, okay, there's a superior product out there. would be stupid not to carry it. Yeah, yeah. And I think that someone was just saying this morning, Apple may not have anticipated how much uh, consumers expect from Apple. And they didn't get that with this with this product. And so this is, yeah. I mean, if you don't meet market expectations, yeah, exactly. it can be a problem, especially if you are such a big, well-known company. And you have a great track record. I and mean, you have so many addicts as well. Exactly. Roger Magme told us yesterday that Google's Android is good, but it doesn't do much now. That is just <laughs> one man's opinion. He's always colorful. But does this move somehow confirm Android's dominance? Uh, look. Google's gotten a lot of things right in, in mobile, uh, and this is another sign of that. Android does have more than 70% of, of market share. You know, Eric Schmidt was bragging to us about that, you might say, a couple days ago. Um, no, we know, we can see now that Google, it's not just in Maps, but in many other mobile products, are, is, is doing very well. And if anything, Apple saying, yes, we need this app and, and, uh, you know, to help, and other Maps to help uh, keep you know, consumers happy, that shows that Google is doing well. What's the next step for Google, Brian? You did spend a lot of time, Chairman Eric Schmidt, as you just alluded to, in our offices, and he met with about 10, 15 close reporters. Mm -hmm. What is next? What do you think he wants next year to bring? As far as mobile, and it, oh, I, I think he, I think he's happy where they are and where they're going because look, mobile advertising is just getting off the ground, and they really think that you know the maps and all this other data that they're getting can make it that much better. And Google needs to continue to find new ways to grow revenue. So it's, it's a huge area, it's very important, and I think in the next year you're going to see more and more ways where local and mapping is used to drive more data and more uh, advertising dollars to Google.